hello friends Kishan is here again and uh, in this video tutorial I am going to discuss about the named parameter JDBC template so in previous video tutorial we had discussed about the JDBC template but in this video tutorial I am going to discuss about the uh, one of the very famous I mean persistence layer class provided by the spring framework that is called named parameter JDBC template to make this demo I am going to copy my previous project which I had created for spring with JDBC template so let's make another copy of this project in the same workspace I would give the name sorry named parameter JDBC template using XML and close this previous project so this is already closed close this one as well so this is the project which we had created in previous video tutorial so let me show you what is this project all about so here basically we had created one DAW class as its DAW interface where we have declared API related to the CRUD operations and this interface is going to implement by this class so here this class has defined all method, methods which are declared in this interface and here we have used JDBC template and uh, when you use JDBC template then in every API you can see over here we have used placeholder or question mark to take input parameters uh, I would like to discuss basically create employee API so here number of question marks is four right there are four placeholders and while supplying th these input parameters always you need to maintain the sequence means first question mark represents employee name then first input parameter will have to supply employee name then second question mark represents email then second input parameter will have to supply as email address so here if number of placeholder uh, increasing then uh, it will have to maintain this sequence as well so sometimes if number of placeholder is going beyond of 20 or 30 or more than that then in that case maintaining this sequence is little painful for a developer so to overcome this kind of problem we have a another class provided by the spring framework that is named parameter jdbc template so in this video tutorial i'm going to use instead of jdbc template i'm going to use named parameter jdbc template so definitely this class we are going to modify now here if your api returns any custom data type uh, then you need to uh, while using the API, I mean API which is available inside JDBC template, you need to supply your employee row mapper class. So this row mapper class we have defined. This row mapper class implements row mapper, and here we have used generics. And uh, this row map map row is the one of the callback method which is called by the Spring framework. And here result result set comes with the all uh, data and you need to extract data from the result set and populate into your model class and that model class instance basically you are returning from here so if you your result set contains uh, I mean five rows then five times this callback method is going to call and doll layer API basically we are calling from the service layer so we have a service layer interface where we have declared all API and this interface is going to implement by this class so here we have overridden all uh, method which is available in this interface 
and here basically we have injected employee DAW here and using this reference basically we are calling method which are available in the DAW class and here in this interface in, the, in this service layer you have opportunity to write a business logic so in here I haven't written any business logic but in your real project you might have a uh, some business logic so those kind of business logic or business validation kind of code you can write in in this API now in this configuration file we have configured data source we have configured employee service IMPL and employee service IMPL has a uh, reference of employee DAW so that I have injected explicitly and finally you have a DAW class right DAW class also contains a reference of JDBC template so that I have injected over here and uh, here we have used I mean property file to manage the database details so that's why we have configured property placeholder configured for this and uh, finally we have a client program from there we are just in, uh, getting the instance of employee service and uh, we are making the call uh, uh, methods available in this interface so using this reference we can make the call uh, service layer API so and that's why we have written this code we have refactor and we are we are making call to the service layer interface and service layer, service layer uh, delegates the call to the DAW layer so only if uh, we are planning to use named parameter JDBC template then rest of the code would be same only thing is that in DAW class we are going to make change so instead of JDBC template, I am going to declare named parameter JDBC template. So, named parameter JDBC template. So, this class I am going to make use. So, here named parameter JDBC template. And here I am going to use setter method of named parameter JDBC template. Now, of course, you are, we are getting error over here. So, this these implementations are going to change. So, what I will do? First of all, I'm going to come comment over here. So, one by one, I'll complete all APIs. So, as of now, just I'm commenting this code. And this guy is throwing error. So, as of now, just return a null value first of all I will complete this API using named parameter JDBC template so here here we have deleted JDBC template and we are planning to use named parameter JDBC template so corresponding uh, uh, changes you will have to do in pins.xml so now our DAW class does not contain JDBC template anymore. So instead of JDBC template, my talk class contains named parameter JDBC template. So let's configure named parameter JDBC template. Now we need to configure here named parameter JDBC template. So bean ID named parameter JDBC template and we need to specify the qualified name of this class so let's search this class in jar file by pressing ctrl shift t and here is this class so let's copy the qualified name of this class and paste it here <coughs> sorry guys now if you go go to this class then this class has a uh, you can check it out so this class basically has a lot of API now this API one of the constructor of this uh, class is called named parameter JDBC template which uh, ask you to inject uh, data source right so 
here we can inject data source using constructor arc. So, sorry, so inside the bean, yeah, uh, we can use constructor arc and name equal to name equal to we'll have to write data source and ref equal to of course we need to write data source then in that case i don't think so we require to configure jdbc template right i think we need just i'm going to comment it so xml changes we have done now let's go to the our client uh, we need to make changes in the doc class so here first of all i'm going to complete this api so this api ask you to supply value for this right so if you look into the named parameter jdbc template then named parameter jdbc template has lot of api now we need to decide which api we have to use here so uh, so here let's search for query for object right so this api is returning a single object so query for object here there are many api but your API returns a custom data, right? So in that case, first of all, we need to uh, pass this SQL query. Second parameter takes a map, and third parameter nothing is the row mapper. So we'll make use of this API. Now here, here you need to pass first SQL query, and second parameter you need to pass a map. So map I'm taking over here, key as a string, and value as an object and you can take and i will give the input input map as a name of this map and new you can take any implementation of map so i am taking over here hash map now control shift o for organize import so now map has a put method right so put now here instead of placeholder we are going to use we are going to give the name of this parameter so the way to specify the name first of all you need to specify the colon then emp id any name you can give over here but meaningful name now key is here in this map key i am going to supply as a uh, emp id and employee id we are getting from the client so that pass over here and finally this map we are passing we have to pass here now third parameter we have to pass the our employee row mapper object so new employee row mapper now this api is going to return us employee object and same employee object we are going to return from here so that's it so we have completed this api now for time being let me comment this sorry so we have to comment in type root so that we can remove the compilation error so let's let me check it check out let's run this api and see whether it's working or not so go to the client program and this what the name of this api name of this here, get employee by id so let's run get employee by id so here is the get employee ID and we are passing employee ID as a 2. So in database we have a employee whose ID is 2. So let me run this API. Say yes. And here we got the output. So basically we are printing ID and name. The rest of the things we are not printing. So if you want you can print rest of the things as well. So we have uh, this SOP. You can copy this SOP over here. And let me run this application again. So we got the output. So guys, that's all I wanted to convey in this video tutorial. Next tutorial will complete rest of the API.